Hello Team Aries, it's Empire333 here. Welcome back to my channel. This is your love tarot reading. We'll be getting into energies of both parties. Whoever is coming up, we will be I will be talking about any intuitive messages that are coming through and then spiritual advice about your situation. Okay, this will not have an extended reading. If you resonate with this um, video with this reading, then you can book a personal if you're interested. The email is down below. Just make sure you follow directions for that. So Aries, intuitively what I'm picking up is that you're trying to release some sort of contract, okay? So some of you might be breaking up with someone or you could be married and you're just done, um, okay? And I feel that it's not only a physical contract for some of you, like I said, some of you could be married and that is a contract within itself. But what I'm hearing here is that you believe you have a soul contract with someone, okay? So it could be a soul contract that has a lot of heavy karma, you know, um, that is playing out in this lifetime, okay? For some of you who do not know, I am an Akashic reader. I read the Akashic records, okay? So that's what I'm getting for some of you. So let's get into this. Let's see, Spirit, what do you want to tell my Aries nation? Everyone who's watching, okay, action. So I feel like a lot of you are, you're about to make a move, okay, Aries? So you, you don't know which direction to go to. I feel like some of you are being guided, but you're still hesitant to make a big move, okay? I'm getting a big move. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So you are contemplating on making a move. Now, I don't know whether it's in a situation or you're moving out of a situation, okay? So let's get further. Spirit, what else do you want to tell Aries? Yeah. So <clears throat> some of you, it's like you want to make a move to break free out of a um out, like I said, it's out of a connection that you feel is very karmic, okay? Now, I don't believe in karmic, you know, the karmic person, blah, blah, blah. I don't believe in that, but whatever connection you were in recently, it's very heavy. It's Like I said, it's the karma of it is playing out really hard. It's difficult. It's challenging in this life, lifetime. You feel like you're going through obstacles with this person, like you're going through all these hoops. And um, this is the storm warning we have here. So you feel like, oh my God, this is like the showdown, right? This is like a showdown. That's what you feel like. Um, I feel that a lot of you are gathering up your strength to um, detach yourself, okay? Because we have Archangel Michael here, root chakra. This is the root, okay? So some of you could be, have... You could have been with this person for a very long time, okay? A lot of years you spent with this person. So a lot of you know it's like you have some sort of a soul contract with this person, okay? So let's see further. Let me put that deck away. Let's get into your energy, Aries. And if you all like my vibe and my style of reading and you haven't done so, please subscribe and hit that notification. I and I will appreciate it. All right. So Aries. Spirit, what do you want to tell my Aries? Okay. Wow. Yes. Sorry, guys, but something weird. Is Mercury still on or any other planet that's still in retrograde? Okay, so this is what I'm getting, Aries. Um, you want to be now honest with yourself, okay? I feel like you are healing, okay? This is the star. So you're healing 
aspects of you that um, you didn't follow what what is your wish fulfillment, okay? Some of you are questioning that right now, okay? So this is the Nine of Cups. So you're questioning what you want. And I feel like it's because you've been so long in this connection that you lost parts of yourself, Aries. And we'll be getting into your person in a second. But you lost parts of yourself, okay? And here I'm seeing is like you are... That's the focus. That's the center of your life right now. I feel like a lot of you are doing like a review of your life and you're like, why am I always, I thought I followed my intuition with this person, being with this person. Yes, they can't, this person is your soulmate, okay, Aries. But that doesn't mean that you have to stay with them forever, right? All your life. I feel like some of you are questioning that. You're like, okay, I listened to my intuition. I was guided by the star. That's why I was with this person, this person. Um, I feel like in the beginning, this person really inspired you, Aries, but you lost that that magic that you felt with this person, okay? Um, I feel like the magic is not there anymore. The passion is not there. Things are fizzling out between you and this person. And now it's like you, you're in between like starting a new journey and you're, it's like you got one foot in, one foot out, Aries, okay? And this has a lot to do with the contract. You, Some of you are questioning it. Whether this be a physical contract of marriage, that you're married to this person, even if you're not married to them, you're questioning this. You're questioning the contract with, that you have with this person because some of you are not married. This person doesn't want to take that marriage step, okay? I'm getting a split reading here. So some of you, this person will not commit to you, okay? So you're thinking, okay, wait a minute. We got a soul contract, okay? It's beautiful. Um, we've got love for each other. This lo love spans lifetimes. You feel it, Aries, okay? Let me know in the comments how you feel that because I know you do. But this person always makes you feel less than they make you feel like you're always disappointed okay there's a lot of disappointments that is coming through that I'm picking up on like wait if we me and this person are soulmates and we got a contract we got a soul contract I did everything I could right And why is it that I feel the lack? I still feel lack, okay? There's a lot of lack energy in this connection that you are feeling, Aries. So it's like maybe you gave all your love to this person and you feel like you're not appreciated, you're not respected. This person could be taking, you know, the taking... You feel like this person is is disrupting your peace at this time, okay? They disrupt your peace is what I'm hearing. Okay, so let's see how this person's doing and then we'll be getting into feelings and, you know, some spiritual advice. Okay, wow. This is interesting. so this person has always had their walls up okay you're dealing with someone who's like a negative nancy or i don't know negative nicholas i whatever whoever right this person is very wounded by their past this could also be wounded by their family okay um, this person has a very, you and this person have had a lot of difficulty together, okay? A lot of hard times that you've had with this person, okay? But what I'm seeing here is like, this person does not act out on how they feel, okay? So for you, Aries, let's say you want something, you go for it, you do it. This person does not, okay? Okay. So what I'm seeing here at this time is that this person doesn't have clarity. And I feel like that's why they're not pu putting their walls down, okay? they This person has an issue with keeping their walls up is what I'm hearing. And also there's no clarity when it comes to 
what you both want at this time, okay? So some of you might have been just navigating with this person, like, you know, um, in a sense where um, we just kept going, you know, even though things were hard, challenging, you kind of got used to it, Aries, okay? You got used to this person and um, their habits is what I'm hearing and their routines. So you're just kind of going along with the flow. But what I feel here is that there needs to be a clear-cut conversation between you and this person, okay? There needs to be, the this person feels like they need to make a decision, but it has to do with you. It has to do with you telling this person, I don't know if you did yet, because this is timeless tarot. This is, um, this could be your past, present, future, or it could be all rolled in one. So if you've had a conversation this, with this person and you've told him, told them like, listen, I'm constantly disappointed. You constantly disappoint me. I feel like there's a lack of A, B, C, and D, and F, okay? Um, this, this has to do with this person making a decision. If they were not making any decisions to change, if this person was not opening up, if this person was not being an able participant with this connection, I feel like it's going to come through. So this person, I feel, is going to take action. I'm going to clarify this in a second, but this person um, got so used to you um, beating to their the march, beating to their the the march of their drum. Okay, I don't know how that's coming through. I'm hearing that beating to the. All right, somebody help me. <laughs> Let me know. Beating to the march of your drum of their drum. Okay whatever. So this is, this is iconic, right? The Scorpio, the Aries and Scorpio saga continues. Okay. So some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio or you have Scorpio placements, which, you know, Aries and Scorpio always has a very complex history together. Great, but complex, right? So I feel you on this one, Aries. Um, the Scorpio in me feels that. Okay. So, so anyways, I'm going to see what this is about because I feel that this person misses you. If you're a part Aries from this person, they definitely miss you. You're constantly on their mind is what I'm hearing, but I feel like they need to make a decision. Um, they know they need to make a decision. Like it's either, you know, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this person is, it's like, it's so hard for them to let go of you, okay? So some of you might have issues with um, letting go of them, but I feel like this person, it's so hard for them to let go because you were so nurturing, Aries, okay? You took, you brought so much um, love into their life and they're holding on to that. They're holding on to that love, okay? So this person now is really sad that this is, like, they feel like it's ending. Like, for good, okay? So I don't know if you both, yeah, they feel like you're cutting them out of your life, okay? So I'm going to see what their feelings are. So this person is going to come through, guys. They are going to come through. Let's see. How do they feel about Aries? Aries, this person thinks that you and them are fated to be together. Like you're destined to be together. I know fate and destiny is different, but they feel both. So, um, it's so hard for this person to remove you, like not remove you, but to let go of you. Okay. Anything else? How do they feel spirit? They want to make things right is what I'm hearing, but I feel like Aries, you waited too long for this person. Yeah. They feel like, look, this is how attached they are okay this is the devil energy 
they're very attached this is a very strong look at we got the high priestess right afterwards this person feels that you and them definitely are fated to be together okay and they feel so lost and lonely without you it's like you're aries you know it's it's like you are their word you world you have so much power over this person so you know and i'm not trying to say you're controlling not in that way it's like you you have so much it's even great power over them because you have shaped this person's life or you have helped them so much you've supported them you've nurtured them it's such beautiful energy and they know that okay and they also think of you as like a highly spiritual being you might have healed this person in many ways or help them heal aries okay so what i'm getting here is that this person has a lot of good feelings towards you and i'm gonna see now what spirit wants to say to you when it comes to this energy okay what do you want to tell Aries with this connection, about this connection, okay? Yeah, so like I said, I feel like a lot of you are going to move on. Um, so Aries, they want you to know that you have to stand up for yourself is what I'm hearing for some reason because I feel like this person got very comfortable in delaying any progress that you and them had. They also got really comfortable and they did not change things, okay? So Spirit's saying, this will be your sign. Um, whether you want this person or not, pay attention, okay, um, to what this person changes, what their be how their behavior changes into making real moves, okay? So I feel like because this has been stagnant, you feel stuck in this connection, okay? And Spirit is saying you have wishes, you have goals, and this person has become a very heavy distraction with that, okay? Because you have so many wishes and goals you have not fulfilled yet. I feel like this person um, really put a damper on your light. So it's like they dimmed your light, they dimmed... Um, not dimmed, but they kind of belittled you in a sense, not directly guys, but I feel more like the distraction of them. Okay. I'm going to see how this person feels about you. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to see. Oh, what has come up? Wow. This is what you want. Aries, you want a happy home. You want to be celebrated. Okay. You might be seeing 1111 a lot. So I'm going to see how does this person feel about Aries spirit. And some of you don't want this person, but this person is coming through. So I have to talk about it. You make my heart sing. So I feel like when you met this person, Aries, this person had gone through a lot of heartache. Their heart was closed off. Okay. And you open their heart back up. But the issue in here is that they close their heart back up a lot of times. So it's like it wasn't fully open. They opened it and then they freaked out. There's a lot of fear that is within this person. So even though um, you made their heart sing, it's like it was very short-lived, okay? Or it happened a few times and they quickly closed their heart back up, okay? But for this person that you made their heart sing, it's still very valuable to them. I want you to know that. That's what they're saying, okay? And let me see if what, what is the spiritual advice for you. Any further, further things you want to tell Aries? Don't compromise until you get what you want. Don't compromise, okay? Ooh, Ten of Cups. Your ships, your ships are coming. Okay, if you've been waiting for a lifetime, you feel like it's a lifetime, Aries, for your Ten of Cups, it is coming, okay? But it's something that you have to work towards. It's something you have to put an effort in, okay? Some of you are depleted of energy from this person. And let me tell you something. The universe will not put a heavy situation. This, your soul will not put 
uh, heavy situation that you can't handle. They'll always give you what you can handle. So even though you don't think Aries, you can handle it, you, you will, okay? Whether it be with this person or someone new, whether you want this person or someone new, okay? You, um, Spirit's really um, asking you to go into introspection at this time and figure out what it is that you want, okay? Say it out loud, say it to the universe, pray, However you do it, put your intention out there because you have a lot of wishes and goals you want to fulfill. That's separate from this person. So this person has become really heavy distraction, okay? But like I said, you're, this person really values, values you within their heart. They might not be expressive of it, but this person now, since you're holding back, it's like things are changing, and the way you let somebody know is that you pull back your energy. So some of you have done that. And so they're getting the message very loud and clear. Okay. I hope this helped you, Aries. If it has, don't forget to like. Let me know in the comments how you resonate. And peace to you. Peace out.